headed on. We've got some big lads headed on. Today is a massive day. We're watching a third division match in German football between the Dortmund second team and Dinamo Dresden. Surely this is going to be nothing, right? Theo, this is um, not a normal game. Dinamo Dresden has a really a great fan base and I yeah. want to travel with about 8,000. 8,000 yes. away fans? Yes. Going to Dortmund? Yes. But it's a third division match. They take care and uh, yeah, they have a chance to go to the second league. What about the Dortmund second team? The ultras will come? Yes, of course. The only reason I'm going today is because my friend Oliver has convinced me this is going to be an insane atmosphere. Apparently there's only going to be 11,000 fans and for a massive stadium it's not going to look crazy. But it's Dinamo Dresden who are 6th in the 3rd tier of German football playing the Borussia Dortmund 2nd team in 17th. Oliver, why are we going to this match today? Because it's a very important and, and, and a big match. <laughs> it's so weird to be here at the stadium. This is the usual entrance for the ultras. And it's completely empty. Where is the entry for the stadium? How many fans are going to be here today? Is it worth coming to a Dortmund second team game? Bolton play in the third division. So this is going to be a comparison. But Dinamo Dresden have a better team. It's their first team. And they're sixth in the league trying to get promoted. So I expect Dortmund seconds to lose. Germany's third tier, bring it on. I can hear Dortmund chants. Dresden. If they are bringing 8,000 away fans, that's most of what English teams bring anyway. Second tier games in England are like under 23 matches. It's not really a thing. Look at this. It's, it's like a first team game. This is the queue. When the Dortmund fans were in uh, Chelsea, they all were having cider, dark fruit cider, apple cider. In England, we love lager. In Germany, I drink an even better lager, Brinkhoff's. Now I know a lot of Dortmund fans think there's better beers than Brinkhoff's, but it's what you get at the stadium, so cheers. Tastes good. Tastes like a, I'm sorry Dortmund fans, 2-1 Dinamo Dresden. Hello Jan, how are we doing? You good? Yes, I'm good. You support Dortmund? Yes, I'm sure. Dresden fans are crazy. Uh, yes, of course. Who do you think is going to win? Because I see Dortmund's second team is like struggling, yes. maybe maybe relegated uh, to fourth. A draw uh, is very good for Dortmund. For Dortmund, especially yes. in the relegation fight. Yes. This is the queue to the Dortmund section here. The queue goes all the way and along to the back here. And this is a second team game and people are queuing up so long to get in for a second team game. How about this? We've made it inside the stadium. I still don't believe yeah. how busy it is for a second team match. Here we go. Signal Juno Park for a second tier match. The yellow wall is nearly full. Dinamo Dresden fans across the other end. I have to remind you this is for a third tier match in Germany. Third tier. <laughs> Prediction, what are you going for? 2-1 uh, for BBB. Yeah? 2-1 as well? 2-1 mm, Dynamo. Dynamo? Oh, yeah. okay. They are the better team. They're the better team. Dortmund Ultras have created a display for the second team. These guys put so much effort into the club, it's unbelievable. This is insane. Obviously, most of the ground is going to be empty, but to see so many Ultras here. And the Dynamo Dresden fans that we saw outside. The kickoff has been delayed because fans are still not getting in, so... Here come Dortmund 2 and Dinamo Dresden in white. First player of the day. Here we go. Oh my days. Dresden fan singing. Dortmund second team. can't see the pitch at this rate. This is what is this? I don't know. The score is still nil nil. <laughs> oh. Why are the fans so good? Uh, because, because they love the club. Yeah. They love the club, that's simple. They can't start the game, look the players don't know what to do. This is just mad. I'd like to think this is a second team. They had to stop the match because of the turnout and the pyro. But we're finally starting to see the pitch again. One minute 55 in. Just to remind you, it tickets five euros to be in the yellow wall. It's double that, 10 euros. To be over there. It's cheap to come to a second team game. 
get to experience the yellow wall. All the Dorman fans have got their hands up. The Dinamo fans have some kind of paper with an arrow. Maybe they're pointing to the goal. Do you remember that team in Scandinavia which just had those arrows? In terms of atmosphere, this, this beats so many games I've seen <laughs> worldwide. First chance of the game. Goal scorer for the first one. Kuchka. And the fans could be two. It's 2 0. Dortmund's second team are crumbling. Dortmund 2 0. Dinamo dressed in two. The other day, Dinamo are doing better in the league. And you can tell they're a better team, unfortunately. I, I've got to respect all the Dortmund Ultras who have turned up for this because it's hard, it's hard. The team aren't as good. You can tell that. We're in a relegation fight in the third tier. They might be going to the fourth tier next year. But look, they're still, they're still singing. Arms are up. Dinamo Dresden fans swaying side to side. Not the best 11 minutes. The Dortmund seconds. Still lots of noise and movement. This allowed goal would have made it 3 0 for Dinamo Dresden in 14 minutes. Would have been embarrassing. But this allowed. I feel like fans have just turned up to score the team. They're not here for the scoreline. It's been tough. But this allowed anyway, so it's still hope for a comeback. I think the referee has just booked one of the Dortmund players and given a penalty. Do you know what happened, Ollie? No, I'm sorry. No, couldn't see. I don't know what happened either. Let's see if he can do it. He's done it again. Shice Dinamo! This is becoming an embarrassment for the Dortmund seconds. 3 0 in 17 minutes. It gets bad to worse. I couldn't even see what the penalty decision was for. The referee heard something, he saw something. Flag, which actually has two eyes by Dortmund that is made for the second team. That is the support and a flag created just for matches like this. And look, 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 does that affect them? No, not at all. Everyone's bouncing. Mad. All the Dinamo fans are facing to the right. Pointing. And they're moving around. And they're moving side to side. <laughs> what is going on? I've never seen anything like this. They're all moving left to the right. The East Germans are going wild. They're moving side to side. Dinamo Dresden are, are a group of fans and they're doing chants and and and. and Stuff I've never seen before in my life. I'm actually give them credit because a lot of different clubs around the world copy each other with chants and things. They've just got their own wacky shit that no one's seen before. So yeah, it's quite interesting. Four minutes additional time here. The Dortmund players need a break. They need to talk to their manager, sort it out. Half time. Dresden are three up. Jonas, thoughts on that first half? First off, uh, three nil for Dresden. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's not great. But Fans of both sides, very good. Munier, is he playing? Yes, Munier. right side. Right Munier side. is playing, it's crazy. He's so bad. Get back. Arsenal beating Fulham 3-0. Either way, the score is still Dinamo Dresden 3-0. Dortmund out first. A shorter team talk with their manager. 
The plan is simple, get the ball in the back of the onion bag. The Dresden boys are back out and we're on the way for the second half any moment now. Here we go again. That's the attendance of the third German division, second team Dortmund. It's probably more away fans than home fans today. It's yes! That's one back. That number 11 has just gone on a great solo run. What an effort as well. Dortmund 2-1. They're doing brilliant. This guy here, Justin Nima. I see potential in him. He's actually played for the first team, he was on the bench yesterday. And uh, yeah, now he's scored in the second team against Dresden. This weird like scarf pointing downwards thing is back out from the Dinamo Dresden fans. I don't really get it. Could someone in the comments please explain what is going on here? I've never seen anything like it. Have you ever seen anything like it? No. What, are they trying to point to the goal? Are they trying to point to the goal? I have no idea. But for now, we're just appreciating their away support. All nearly 8,000 of them in the opposite end here at Signal and Judah Park. Smash the like button if you want me to go to the Dino Modesto home game. I will travel to the Sim Derby just for it. And let me know in the comments which match is the best one because I'm going to experience some more of this. They've got me interested after hearing some of the charts. Mounier. Mounier. Drop on the first team, and that's probably why. Loads of space for Mounier. Go on. Go on. Oh. 70 second minute here. Chance for a comeback if this curls in. Oh my god. I thought it was in. I thought that curls in. That was the perfect big taunt. It was so satisfying to watch that curl. I thought it was in. As we reach the 80th minute, it's still 3-1. Off the line clearance. What a miss! Back over there. He's got good feet as well. Oh, oh! Now all the scarfs are out. Dortmund fans holding up the yellow and black, but the noise is coming from the other side. The scarfs are out. German 30. I don't think you get this any other club with the second team bringing the world troops. Over the bar. Full time. Dortmund one, Dinamo Dresden three. No matter the result, the players come over to clap the fans behind the goal. And so did Dinamo Dresden the opposite side. They've travelled on a Sunday afternoon for a 3 pm kickoff. <laughs> it is mad. Some of the clubs you hear about in Germany. Look, even the players have those little pieces. I mean, everyone's got that. Mad. Full time in the match, and I'm also flying back to England from Dortmund Airport. What an experience to think third division football and a Dortmund second team is so well supported. Look, there's no second team around the world that gets such a good arrival when they enter the stadium with the pyro and the smoke bombs. Of course, they didn't get the result that they wanted, but it was still so special to see so many fans turn up. So smash the like button, 10,000 likes, and I will go to Dinamo Dresden home game because those away fans to turn up with 8,000 
That is insane. You don't even hear of those numbers. They had more away fans in the stadium than there were home fans. So big up to all the ultras we saw today. It's time to fly back to England. See you all later. I've got a Ryanair flight, so wish me luck. Bye-bye.